Europe has changed forever. Here's what it means for startups and small businesses and what new business opportunities there are. Let's talk about it now. Hi, I'm Oliver and welcome back to the channel Ask Me Startup, where we talk about startups, small businesses and the world that surrounds them. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and pushing the notification bell so YouTube lets you know whenever I'm uploading new content. If you're into business, if you have a small business, if you plan to start a business, please feel free to download my free startup checklist link in the description below. Today's topic, Europe has changed forever and what does it mean for businesses and startups? Now, unfortunately, I guess everybody's aware of the terrible situation where a country is invading another country in Europe. This terrible, terrible thing actually meant that there are new opportunities that are now happening in Europe. Why? Because the political mindset has shifted completely 180 degrees in many countries in Europe, hence new opportunities are on the horizon. What I mean by this? Well, if you believe that you could enable trade with Russia, for instance, and by that and foster a better and stronger relationship, these ideas have been smashed to pieces. These pieces are on the floor and now we have to build up something new. So which countries have been affected the most? For sure, the biggest change is happening in Germany. Now, Germany suddenly announced that they're going to double the amount of spending on military and other technologies. Germany, the largest economy in the European Union, actually said that they have to get away from Russian gas, they have to develop new and sustainable energies, and they have to build up a better military force and cyber force. The next countries on the list would be the Baltic countries, Estonia, Lithuania and Latvia. They're all on a big threat and all they have been doing in terms of startups and small businesses were small digital startups. Now they have to think of other things as well. All of them have to develop new sustainable energy sources because they have to become independent. They also have to upgrade their military forces. Now, military equipment, to be honest, is nothing that is for startups most of the time and small businesses. But anything related to cybersecurity for sure is. Then countries number three and four, I would say, are Sweden and Finland. These countries are not part of NATO and currently are under big threat and they are thinking politically to change. That also implies that they have to get away from trade with Russia because currently there are sanctions and they have to adapt because otherwise things are terrible. Hence, there are big opportunities for someone who is able to foster trade, who is able to provide new sources of revenue for Finland and Sweden, for instance. So take that into consideration. Maybe you are the one who is able to provide those countries with some alternatives. Which industries are affected the most? I mean, I mentioned already in the country section some of the industries, but for sure it's military. Okay, nothing maybe for startups, but then sustainable energies. If we want to get rid of natural gas, which we anyway have to due to climate change, things have to move much faster forward towards wind and solar powered energy sources. Also biodegradable energy sources, etc., etc. So there you can see, as I've been mentioned before in a previous video on which are the best small businesses and business ideas in the future, you are now aware that this is nothing to joke about. This is serious money now being put on the table. In one of the following videos, I will provide you with information about funding, funding by the European Union. So I really want to stress out that this is right now one of the largest opportunities ever in Europe because the people and the politicians are aware they have to change and they have to change fast. The next thing that will be big is going to be cybersecurity because we are now aware that cyber attacks are among the biggest threats that for Europe is currently facing and they are now real. They're not just an imaginary thinking process anymore. Hence, if you are startups in the IT, I'm pretty, pretty sure Europe will now offer some of the biggest and greatest opportunities ever for you to come. And then last but not least, I do personally believe that cryptocurrencies and more specifically Bitcoin and Bitcoin related applications are going to be the future and going to be a big business opportunity. Of course, none of the European states will ever or until now disclose their opinion on this because they are afraid to lose power, 
But the reality is, due to the measures taken currently by the Western world, we will see a shift in monetary policies. We will see a shift in the way we treat our money system. Hence, if you're able to provide very good usable apps based on Bitcoin, I'm pretty sure the future will be yours. Now to really stress to you how important the changes are and how big they are, I need to tell you that there has been a report as of recent, a couple of days ago, from the International Energy Agency, where they lay down a 10 point plan how Europe can get rid of Russian gas dependencies. That is important to understand because this is where the big money is flowing currently. Now, part of that will be to, of course, establish sustainable energy sources. They will boost the speed of innovation for solar and wind power. Water, not so much because there isn't much space where you can still put natural water basins. However, this plan also shows that there are other business opportunities and they are implicitly written in there. Number one. Europe has to look for alternative sources. Now, what could that be? Alternative sources for natural gas, because on the short run, the next 10, 15, 20 years, we will still rely on natural gas. There will not be that much of a innovation boost and production boost that we're replacing all the fossil fuels within the next five years. Hence, countries like Algeria will become important because they can provide natural gas to Europe and they're pretty close distance. So here's a business tip for you. If you have any connections within Algeria to produce or provide natural gas to Europe, this is the time for you to start right now offering this because some of the contracts Europe has will expire by the end of 2022. And I can assure you they will not be renewed because they can't. Then spin the wheel a little further. You have to be aware that Europeans are now very well aware of their vulnerability. And they're thinking, wait a minute, if we're that much dependent on Russia and we thought it's going to be a good idea, we're also very much dependent on China for manufacturing purposes. Hence, what they're now looking into is to establish new supply chains, new supply chains that they have better control over that are in shorter distance. That is a huge opportunity, for instance, if you are able to provide manufacturing in Morocco. Morocco is a very stable North African country and it's close to Europe. So you will have a big opportunity here to provide alternatives. Now, they might not be as imminent to be set up right now, but these are long term possibilities for everyone thinking outside the box right now. You need to be aware the shock in Europe and European politics and European population has been tremendous. And many people still are aware of World War Two. Hence, what is happening right now scares the hell out of a lot of people. This triggers innovation. This triggers new business opportunities. Take them, make use of them. In a the couple of next videos, I will show you about fundings and I will show you different opportunities in different countries, how they're dealing with the situation. Thank you for your attention until today. If you have questions or comments, please drop them down below. I'm really happy to answer them. If you've made it so far in the video, please subscribe and push the notification bell because it really, really helps this channel to grow. Once again, Thank you very much and I'm going to see you next time.